Oh my, look at this book. It's a big one, it's fantastic. When I say big, I'm not talking about in size per se, but I'm talking about as far as scientific understanding. It's by Jansen, and so traced, not based, traced. I've been seeing that word based on the internet. I hope I'm not using it incorrectly. Um, Dr. Jansen has found the Rosetta Stone of human history. Ken Ham says this, Nathaniel T. Jansen, human DNA's big surprise. Some of this is actually in Walt Brown's PhD MIT in his In the Beginning. It's put out by Master Books. So let's just show you what's in here. I really wanted to introduce this to you guys. So Stephen E. Woodworth, PhD, professor of history, TCU University, a profoundly intriguing book. It throws a new light on ancient history. Leave the reader eager to learn more. Uh, Ola Hoster, PhD, professor of mathematical statistics, Stockholm University, Sweden. Groundbreaking book, likely to become a classic. Recent genetic discoveries are uncovering surprising links between us and the peoples of old, links that rewrite race, ethnicity, and human history. Today's Native Americans descend from Central Asians who were arrived in the early AD era. Down here in South Georgia, we have like Kolomoki Mounds. We got a lot of that type of thing. Uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob still have clearly identifiable descendants, albeit rare ones. Every people group on earth has can genetically trace their origins to Noah and his three sons. So isn't that incredible? Our modern Italians, the descendants of the ancient Romans, our modern Egyptians, the offsprings of the great pharaohs of old. Can modern Jews claim the ancient Israelites as their genetic ancestors? Who did the modern Iraqis come from? The Hittites, uh, Assyrians, or Persians? So some other things here uh, extremely well researched Emerson Thomas McMullen PhD Emeritus Associate Professor of History Georgia Southern University Les Bruce PhD retired research specialist Summer Institute of Linguistics International pulls the curtain back further on the mystery of our early human history using genetics history and linguistics goes a long way toward reconstructing the origins of the human family I'll tell you who else has some stuff similar to this is Bill Cooper after the flood and also ken johnson has a good book on that joe owen director answers in genesis latin american jansen will take you on a tour of human history like you've never seen it before Yung gong lu mm shanghai phd associate professor at liberty university college of osteopathic methods and sheds a scientific light on our understanding of humanity's past nagi iskander uh, fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons of England, fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons of Glasgow, an exciting journey to discover human history in the light of genetic discoveries. I will say this, like the Creation Science Movement UK has a ton of people that are fellows of the Royal Society over there. You know, I just did a video on the uh, thousand, uh, over a thousand PhD folks who disagree with evolution. A novel way to look at how our planet was populated, Rick Roberts, PhD Associate Professor of Biology, Grace College, will be a valuable resource in helping your children answer the questions most history books don't cover. Simon Turpin, Executive Director for Answers in Genesis UK Europe. So, uh, early clues were smaller than we think, more connected than we think, faster than we think. Uh, Africa, still African, the corridor, Europe, Vol just all kinds of stuff in here. And there's some other parts of this book I want to take you into. Just fantastic. Appreciate Sister Waldron zooming in and out. So to say this is big would be quite the understatement. So I think you will find it interesting. I will say that nobody, to my knowledge, has been nastier to me than uh, evolutionists and atheists online. Unbelievable. Um, 
so here I'll just show you there's a huge section of full color thick paper in the middle here just totally unreasonable and uh, they remind me so much of medieval religious zealots burning people here's what it looks like without the uh, slip cover a lot of people always want to know that what's it look like without the slip cover looks like it's probably Smith's own master books always does a great job homeschoolers um, here's what just the basic book itself nice good print readable so that's really good So highly recommend the book. At least uh, give some interesting things. So who's Nathaniel T. Jensen? Received his BS in molecular biology and bioinformatics from the University of Wisconsin Parkside and his PhD in cell and developmental biology from Harvard, Harvard, Harvard University. It's also the author of Replacing Darwin, The New Origin of Species, and Replacing Darwin Made Simple. So this guy, you know, he's got his degree in uh, cell and developmental biology from Harvard. Let's say that again, Harvard, because a lot of you say, it is funny to me that they'll say, unless you have a degree in evolutionary biology, you'd have no right to talk about evolution. I'm like, well, so, Darwin couldn't talk about it, so we don't really have a theory. Because he only had a bachelor's degree in theology. <laughs> Look it up. I teach on Darwin. I've read his autobiography. So, tremendous section in the back of uh, references. Just... Can I find my ancestors with genetic testing? So it's it's just all fantastic. So traced, man, I'm just so enamored with this book. You would not believe. Highly recommend it. Got a lot of. I've got like a uh, what do they call it? A list, playlist. That's it. With creation science books, you may want to get into that. Videos, good stuff. Love you. God bless. Join us daily. Check out all our other videos on various topics and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Talk with you later. God bless. Bye.